I've never seen those little ones from all his near death. <laughs> well, the, the, the worst health one, though, shouldn't have even been attacking that lane anyway. Because it was the health lane, health tower from the other lane. So if there'd been a better spot further up, it would have got done zero on Oogie. It's an okay start. That is a great tile. Um, there's a couple of, like, there's like a flamethrower, then there's a green flamethrower, which is poison. And then there's a, like, a, a shredder, which is a buzzsaw shooter. That one's pretty cool. This is trash. That one's trash. Um, there's what looks like to be remote control planes. They're biplanes, though. Drunk pilots. Um, you almost just go health, armor, shield. Ignore this tile. The health one's pretty close. I was kind of hoping that'd be like a second tile. Oh, and then we can kick off and go health from here. Go this way. That could be good. Uh, what else is there? Oh, there's a frost keep. We just did a frost keep run before this one. That was fun. Uh, well, I'm going to do the planes one again because the one we did planes on um, was good. But I think with the, the change to planes could be better. So I want to see it. They've got a, uh, a laser on top of a pyramid. Oh, and then there's this like massive particle cannon. It's useless. Well, if we can get an, another good turn tile. Yeah, they said that they made planes um, will attack the same target until it's destroyed. Which might mean it chases it out of radar range. Any movie series I'm looking forward to this year? I need to catch up on my um, Marvel stuff. I, I, I get very little time for... TV or movies these days and it saddens me a little bit. I'd like to watch a little bit more or at least like binge on a Netflix series. Um, grab shield damage. Oh man, okay, this, this could work. We go like one, two, three. One, two, three. Three there. Oh, I did too. Thank you. That's a really good spot too. Hits nothing. Um, oh, it hits more than these guys. We might take length on it. Movie night with stream. Uh, yeah, but you have to show uh, like public domain stuff, which is... I mean, some of it's okay. Or you have an Amazon watch thing, but then you can only watch with people who have Amazon Prime. I don't think I'd ever do that. I honestly think if what, what Amazon should do with the watch parties is um, streamers with Amazon Prime should be able to have a watch party with people that don't have it. That would actually make them a thing. Because then I could pick a movie that's coming out that's on Amazon Prime, right? And anyone who doesn't have it would be like, yeah, I'll go watch that with pants. I'd be like, yeah, cool. Come on in. Oh, they've got the mortar tower, which is pretty fun, but we're doing a Tesla, trying to see if we can get this Tesla run to happen. That's so soon for that. Let's see if we can push on to Creeping Cough. 
people with power than those without, like a superhero saga. You have no friend that does This is going to close in on itself. I'll, I'll run a um, poll for a thing. Um, Alright, sad prediction. Will this run close in on itself? Yeah, not as. Opus. We'll put it up to a minute. You got one minute. You also have to then um, put your put your BTTV emote of uh, prediction in chat. You get to predict with channel points. It's gambling. Gamba, which means I can't take this next one until the poll's over because otherwise that'll give it away. Um, oh, there's Creeping Cough. We need that though, but I'm going to take Creeping Cough first. I'll be right back. What do we get? The prediction says, "Ooh, okay." Fifty-seven percent nodders, forty-three percent nopers. Okay, I'll choose the outcome soon. Well, it's either, if it turns, it's a nopers. Oh, it could still turn around though. How are we looking for when we put the Teslas down? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not a good spot for seven. I'll show you why, because like, the coverage is really weak and we don't know if it hits these units. If that was a two spot, it would have been good though. Of econ ballista, yeah. Um, re nothing's really helping us at the moment, so we'll just take future cards. We're still econing out the ballistas because, like, that's important. It could still turn. It's where's the next set of three going though? Like, there's a spot here for one. I wonder if I do I refund the does, does a lost game count as not turning in on itself? Okay. 
I'm gonna have to put a Tesla down somewhere at this rate. <laughs> okay. Uh, that does something, but the Tesla's going to ha have to go down. You would think at this rate. <laughs> yeah, proceeds to place. I'm greedy, I can't help it. I actually don't think the Tesla would do that much in this stage, but... You're doubting chat. <sighs> oh, you got your pizza? What's on the pizza though? So our third set of Teslas though, like we got a spot there. This spot's looking grim. That is a long run though, we're at level rank 12. The broccoli pizza. No, we don't we don't kink shame here. Maybe I should have had a mana siphon down ages ago just to build up mana, you know, so we could have um, <laughs> done a mana thing. Finally happened, chat. <laughs> you thought we're gambling if we get the game crashes? Shield one like there. No, that's terrible. It has to go there. Right? That's the last shield one, which is not the greatest for this path, but screw that path, right? And that becomes like the, the armor one. Unless we put the shield one there. That is terrible. I'm not putting the shield one around there either. 
Isn't it useless to put priorities on Tesla? No, that's what they target and what you gain experience in. So this one will target something with most armor. It'll still hit whatever, but then if there's a target with armor in there, it'll gain armor experience over health experience. So we have the spots for the first three, the second three, and the last spot of the third three, and another one, but I don't know if I'm putting a health one behind this one, or an armor one in front of it. One is definitely going there though, so that's either a health one with an armor one sort of here. Well, that's armor with health. I just put health on this corner. I think so. It feels so bad. What are the social spaces in Australia? Okay, so there's two forms of Australia. There's East Coast and there's West Coast. We don't talk about South Australia in the Northern area, just does its own thing. Um, so I live on the West Coast. Um, and we brag to have like the lowest uh, COVID issues globally, uh, probably because we had one of the tightest and what other people would say most draconian regimes in form of government which we all supported. Uh, it's, a, it's a very lovely area of the world that I'm fortunate enough to, to live in where we do that thing that was talked about before about not being humans. Instead, we more of a social construct. It's this weird concept that's foreign to other people about having some sort of social contract as part of living in society. Um, and so when our government said we're going to be really tough on it and everyone got behind it, um, surprise, surprise, we had really, really, really low infection rate. Like we've had the lowest infection rate in the world. We've had the least issues. And because we had such strict lockdown early, we, our economy went, everyone went back to work. Life's normal over here. Um, with the occasional lockdown ruining a weekend or a couple of days in a week. Um, but also uh, we've had the least amount of lockdown days globally because we just, applied them as soon as there was any oh and we had an app made like we had an app up as, like for tracking so you went went to a, went to a store you had to scan in with the app if you didn't scan in you didn't get to go into the into the shops and people did it because they knew it was going to protect us as a society um they didn't complain about it because oh you're taking my freedoms it was more like thank you for keeping us safe uh yeah so uh, and that was really good it was really widely accepted um and it worked. I mean, science is good for something. Well, yeah. And this is where it wasn't political. We had a strong government 
a lot of other go- so kind of political but it didn't it didn't come from because we have this this left side or right side or liberal or labor or whatever we just had a strong leadership government that said this is what we're going to do we're going to follow these we're going to we're going to back this path and we're going to do it and everyone's like good at least we've got a plan they had a plan um uh and they didn't go all wishy-washy on the plan or we think or whatever they just said we're going to put a we're going to invest in this plan and, and we want everyone to get behind us and we did and it worked So we're very lucky um, and grateful. Oh, we get poison damage going into shield soon. That looks good. You bet the COVID rate is lowest in Central Australia. Well, yeah, because there's no one there. Um, <laughs> actually, no. There's um, there are some uh, pl the the uh, the native. Uh, I can't remember the name they call their areas. There's a specific name for, um, but they, they suffer very badly. Uh, they got hit very hard. Uh, some of them did. Some of them didn't because they they isolate they self isolated. Uh, but the other ones that allowed sort of frequent sort of in, in, uh, goings and comings and goings, they those those places got hit pretty hard. Yeah, the Aborigines. I can't remember. They have a whatever they call their communities. There's a name for it other than community, um, but those places, um, yeah, some of them did. Some of them uh, took a point of view of not letting anyone come and go, um, and they stayed safe. And the other ones that had, you know, normal comings and goings had a bit of bit of issue. Uh, putting a tester up here, wasn't I? Can't afford a tester up there. I'm surprised there was enough traffic. Uh, I guess that's just misunderstanding of, I mean, of of how they get around. Like they still, like they don't, they're not walking around, you know, across thousands of kilometers like they did. So, I mean, some of them do. Um, you know, they drive around. And so now, instead of um, having the people that go like do the trade go from com whatever the community community on foot they're driving around from community to community doing the trade route routes so they're covering the, the distances a lot quicker um, which then leads to spread you have the impression they have most of these quest off from everyone else S some of them choose to stay out in the communities because they don't want to um you know, come in, uh, not come in, come in a city and be involved. But they still have, um, even bef before modern Australia, I guess, um, they traded with the islands north of Australia via boat. You know, it's, you know, I don't think they travelled out of Australia to do that. But the boats that came in from the north, they would trade with. Um, and so they'd have, you know, smaller groups, parties go out to do the trading. I think this is fine. We've got plenty of stuff going on down here. You're supposed to die now. Well, it's time to put one of these up. You really want to come in here, dude? He's like, yeah, I do. No, you don't. What does it mean if the run closes on itself? Oh, because we're expanding a tile. It can't. I don't think it can now. I'm going to leave it open until the end of the run, but I'm pretty sure that's a no. Because when it was here, if it had gone over to this tile and then turned this way, it would have then gone here and it can't expand anymore. And that's closed in on itself. Oh, more poison damage. So we're going into shield. Enough of, we haven't taken creeping cough yet, have we? Frost bolts might end up being the thing. Yeah, let's take frost bolts. That sort of helps. We've got a lot of blisters around, so I think frost bolts will be good around, amongst this. Got some burn damage. 
All right, now I've got to set up, set up shield, dudes. I think I'm still setting the shield guy up here, even though the next one's down there. It just seems too good a spot. I'm going to set up mana banks and just for now just get a couple of them just to raise our max health pool. Oh, you're welcome. I'm happy talking about some of the Australian stuff that I know about. It's not much. There was another house, wasn't there? Uh, Where did I miss the house? Did I plug it? I thought I missed one. I must have got it. Got it. Um, Severo says his knowledge of Australian history could be called criminal. Mm. Everybody groaned. Crowd went mild. Uh, three plus damage to shields really strong at the moment for the Teslas. Shield boy going over here eventually. Land of Vegemite and Strange Football. Yeah. Many footballs. Too many footballs. American football is basically exactly as strange as rugby. Yeah. No. I mean, outside of the way some of the stuff is done, yes. But things like the way the referees do things, or they umpire, yeah, the referees in um, like the chain, the whole 10 yard chain and spotting the ball, that's got to be the dumbest thing in the history of sport. But I know why it's there. Um, and it's so that people can't argue it. Because they'll be like, look, it's behind the chain. It's fourth down. You know, what's in front of the chain? First down. Can't argue with the chain. The chain is infallible. It's like, you choose where to spot the ball. You also choose how to run with the chain. You know, when it's a new first down, you choose where to run the chains to. <laughs> like, you got th you got three stages where it could be, you know, terribly inaccurate. But it's there so that people won't argue. People will see it and be like, oh, oh it's behind the chain. I know the answer to this. I've got to accept it. Log tossing are the cabers. Yeah, they're fun. They, fun, they look fun. Um, slowery slow. Let's get more armory damage and then we'll focus on slowery slow. There was one. I, I mean, what was the play? I, I caught a highlight somewhere and this, this referee's running downfield after a play. So to start the next play. And he got caught up in the players and stuff, and everyone's, you know, 
they wanted to start the play, but he's got to touch the ball and spot it, and he put it in the wrong spot anyway, and and then the clock ran out. Well, we're putting a, a um, shield one here. That's a really good spot. When's Oogie? Um, Oogie was on 15. Next Oogie's on uh, 25. Oh, I need to get a shield run down. You're my shield, Tesla. Two more mana banks. Uh, I wouldn't know, Colby. I'm married. I'm not allowed to kiss anyone. Not even my wife. She bashed me. Okay, if any setup, if any part, like, map has a chance of doing this, this map does. start ramping them up so quality over quantity even though we can only get one of them will do good chance 13% I don't know, bleed. I need more bleed. Naughty Pine's leaving. You're not going to be here for the community day tomorrow, Naughty Pine? Got our community day tomorrow. Free games available on Steam multiplayer. Get to play with pans. Mm. Organize pizza. Yeah, I mean, you guys will have to organize your own pizza. But, you know, I'm thinking if I can organize pizza for me.
He was hyped until I said, but you have your own pizza. You can just use that. Uh, more burning, more critting, damage to, oh, that's, that'll lead on to bleed, which I think I want before critting on bleed. Uh, I think we can safely say this one is not going to close in on itself. I'm going to choose Nopas. Several will turn up. You better be here. No excuses. That tells you now, 15 per shot, you can calculate it. Salty says it's cursed. Oh wow, man. Yeah, you better show up, Severo. Otherwise, Mini Healer will never get to see the light of day. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, probably won't anyway. Does anyone else play Mini Healer out there? I'm really keen to get into it. I almost started playing off stream the other day. I went and did some part of Exile instead. Yeah, me. Except there'll be no money. Um, oh, that's some bleeding. Yeah, it's going to take it. Got to get that bleed in. Let's get the mana use. I want a mana pool up. 300 mana pool seems okay. Oh, that guy's at least level 20. Let's buff this guy. Who's that? Chopper119. Thanks so much for the prime sub. Welcome. Glad you're enjoying the show. Appreciate the support. It's real, it's cursed. Yeah, it's really real. Turn the emotes. I've got a couple of emote slots left too. There's a, a bunch. I've got a bunch of free ones. Well, four. You can only use them in this channel though. So people that hang out here that want to have some free emotes, Pan the Pants High emote is a, a free to use. Oh, I think you have to follow. Maybe I don't know. It's either free to use or you have to follow. Um, no sub required. Uh, but I've got four other ones. So if you have any suggestions. All about them. But I've also got some for um, the bit tiers, which currently have a terrible dollar sign in them as a placeholder. Uh, what do we got? We've got these ones. I, w I would like to replace these with actual emotes. Uh, and these ones, these are pay to win emotes. Any user. Yeah. Um, oh, because of the freedom thing? They're free, freedom emotes? Yeah. No, free emotes, not freedom emotes. Um, so yeah, I can replace those. Um, I just put placeholders in there because I figured it'd be better than nothing, but it turns out they're not better than nothing. You've got those dollar ones, Severo. The 1k is for anyone who's spent, um, who's given me a thousand bits. And the 10k is for anyone who's given me 10,000 bits. And the 25 and the, and the 50. I think we're about to unlock a 75 as soon as, you know, someone steps their game up. <coughs> um, uh, you don't have it? Well, wow, how, how is that not working? Pop used one the other day. Oh, you don't have your pizza remote. Where's your, where's your pizza? Do you have to be showing your pizza to use it? I don't know. Oh, you got it working. 
Um, more health damage, Frostbolt's 2, more bleed damage, more burn damage. Um, straight up plus 2 health I think is worth more than the others. We've almost got an Oogie turn. Yeah, I think you did get ripped off, Salty. I think that happened with you. You had an issue with your account, didn't you? I think something bad happened. It was very sad. Right, let's pump up this shield now. And the armor. Okay. I thought you would have easily had the 10k one. That's right, you're a salty ass duck. But wasn't what happened to a regular salty duck? Didn't wasn't salty duck your didn't we work out salty duck was yours? The only reason you had salty ass duck was because um, someone had taken salty duck and then you realized it was you. So you could have just gone to that account. Oh you lost that account. <laughs> How'd you lose that one? What, inactivity? You lost the login? Yeah, I know, but I thought you got it back when you um, did the forgot my email thing. That's probably still floating around up for grabs then. You can probably get that one back. I need a f they definitely need a speed button, hey. Just so you can dial up. Bring the enemies in. Come on. Plus three to health is good. Attack, 5% crit to bleeding is also good, but that's a pretty good one. Yeah, let's... That one's fine, yeah. Yeah, but this was when they had the anti-donkey um, policy. So at the time, it was a fair ruling. Um, it was a major player, though, in the removal of the anti-donkey policy. Um, but the computer system had already uh, logged that account as inaccessible and Salty had the new one. So, you know, we are where we are. However, Salty can sleep at night knowing this won't happen to anyone else with a donkey in their name. Horse elitism has no place in today's society. I agree, 100%. Unless you're a horse, in which case then, uh, yeah. We know who's better. I think mana's fine for the moment, right? Dark days. Oh, that's the quote. Uh, like, okay. Well, that's not it. I needed to get some darkest dungeon quotes so I could play them <laughs> on the on the on the um, on the stream deck. And I keep forgetting. It is literally like yesterday. I was sitting at the computer, going, "I've got half an hour to kill," and I didn't want to play anything. I'm like, I, I want to do something to improve the stream a little. I'm, and I'm like, oh, I wanted to get some sound bites, and I couldn't for the life of me remember what I wanted. Darkest dungeon quotes from the uh, from our forefather, the ancestor. Like there's some good quotes in there. The one about me being an idiot is a good one. I gotta get that one. Let's take 10% crit. 
Here comes Oogie. I've got a I've got a pan steer. Salty. It's zombie oogie. Well, I mean, okay, sure. There's fish deer. There's also move. Um. There's an actual pans steer. Just saying. Oh yeah, I've got some. I've got a. I could put some more tier two and tier three emotes in as well. But it's just. Die, Oogie. That Tesla put in a lot of work, Duke, yeah. Zombie Oogie's not standing a chance this time. Yo, Gmo, you know there's a Pan's Pog as well. Pan's with a crown. Uh, I could get behind that. Wait, is there something still alive on the track? What the crap? <laughs> Treasure. Let's take a viscerate. I wish that emote could be better. It deserves to be better, but it takes up too much real estate. All right, Oogie. Oh, I don't have university. Uh, I don't think university is the way to go here. I think the bleed pop was the way to go. Are Teslas still as good as they were before the nerf? I think so. Rosas, thank you so much for the resub. Appreciate the support, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> Beard makes the face fall. <laughs> So what are we what are we critted up at? We're at fifty percent crit. I think we got some cards to get. University pack for extra crit, maybe. We might put the universities in then, I guess. They won't do a lot of work. Well maybe. We're gonna be ramping up the multiplier. Are you jealous of my beard to face ratio? Dude, it's off it's actually off the screen. Look, I can I can move the beard from with my hand from off screen. I want one of the shirts now so I can measure it. I know what my profession should be. Run, little dudes. Sell, sell a beard growing kit with me as the model. We can have stream of beard water.
Can I sell some stream of beard water? I figured like I just get out of the shower and just let it drip into a vial or something. I mean, someone would buy that. What would be worse is when someone buys, like, multiples of that and makes me feel weird. Would probably actually make more money than what I get from Twitch. The other option was, like, sell actual beer. But someone did point out, though, that could end... Like, what sort of legal implications could someone put me in with a strand of my DNA? You <laughs> know... I get charged for murder somewhere in Europe or something. You know, like, bearded man was found at the scene of crime. Of course, everyone freaked out. They're like, no, you can't pull out your beard hairs. I'm like, no, no, just the ones that fall out naturally, like in the brush. You <laughs> make me feel weird. Make the entire stock feel flattered. Uh... Hey, we got a shield pop from the university. Stupid caterpillars, hurry up. <laughs> Extra crunchy beard water? I guess, maybe if, like I could put some beard spray on it or some oil in it and then sort of wring it out. We could have like um, stream of beard water, like sandalwood edition, or we could get like the Christmas with a bit of a hint of mint. Beard water would make a fine addition to your pan's shrine. Never understood how I don't feel like the game music is getting repetitive. Um. I don't know. I, I, well, I kind of do know. You want story time a bit? Story time with pans. Yeah, you know how some people will do the same thing at the same time, either every day or on a certain day of the week, and they'll keep that routine going because why would you change it if it was already good? Pizza Tuesday. You, know, you have pizza every Tuesday, that sort of thing. Or Pizza Wednesday as well, because you have pizza on Wednesday. Um, or, I don't know. But anyway, yeah. So as a, as a, as a fellow creature of habit, you know, I like routine. Um, so background music if it's the same, sort of keeps that comfort samey. Taco Tuesday is sacred, yeah. Um, and if the music's good, which this is, 
then it, it just sort of becomes background to me. It's not here. Um, and the background, it's like a white noise without being actual white noise. Like some people want to have waterfalls or uh, jungle noises or something that's, well, that's why it's called white noise. It's just a, a background noise. Right? It's got no, the idea is it's not supposed to be able to make you dwell on it. It's just there. I, I prefer um, my white noise to be, if it was going to be music, it would be, it'd be like a playlist. Right? You have your background playlist. You never sing along to it. You never stop to listen to it because you've heard those songs so many times. And you always start it from the same point every time you go to do something. And especially in my hospitality career, when you have late nights after a restaurant closes or fast food joint or whatever, and you've got lots of cleaning to do, um, or you've done it all or done most of it and you're just starting whatever the routine is, that would normally be music that goes on time. Um, and the playlist would be the same every night. Occasionally a song will get added to it, or one would get removed, or you just would never get to the tail end ones. But for me that sort of helped the normalcy of uh, that sort of thing. Also lets you have music without having people stop to sing to the music. Although some of the boys would sing to the music, because, you know, it's kind of good. And there's, then there's three themes. You get it tells you when you're getting to the when you've beaten an oogie. It's like you've beaten an oogie. Have some different music. And you're like, thank you. Now give me another oogie. I want to beat it again. Oh yeah, you like that oogie. Wait, what? Um. Never, s well, no. See, I would we would always clean as we go. Um, hands professional. Um, I had a very strict policy, and some of um, my juniors didn't like it, and I didn't give two shits what they liked. But what did I do? Monk a cheer, yeah. <laughs> He's waving the cheer batons. Um, in any of my restaurants that I managed, um, whether I was directly managing them or in charge of the managers there, I had a strict no, you couldn't break anything down that was required for service until service was complete. And people would be like, oh, be like they'd be like, oh, I want to get a head start on the cleaning. It's like, well, clean it up then. Oh, but it'll get dirty. I'll have to clean it again. I want to break it down and put it in the cold room and do stuff like that. It's like, no. Um, but I, I led by example showing that you could get out very quickly after close um, by being efficient and by, you could pre-clean. Keep your floors swept, you know. Um, stay on top of dishes, all that sort of stuff. You know, wipe stuff, wipe benches down and whatnot. But you just couldn't pack any of the food stuff away. Because customers don't like that. They walk in and they see you packing up. People feel actually feel bad. Some people, not everyone, but most people will do. They'll be like, oh, you're cleaning, you're still open. Oh, I don't want to order. You, know? you want to be inviting as a restaurant. You want people to come in and be like, hey, oh, you're open, great. You know, you welcome them. Welcome. Um, so if that, if that table came in five minutes to close, I would welcome them. That's my job to take their money, you know, like... Hans managed several restaurants throughout his life. He did. You need to listen to my life story? I have a pretty cool story. What's really funny is... Um, someone said the other day about how their bachelors are still in the envelope. And I laughed, and mine is too. Because <laughs> they didn't go to my graduation. They mailed it out to me. I looked at it. I put it back in the envelope. I look. I didn't even look at it that day. It wasn't until my wife's like, "Hey, did you get your graduation certificate yet?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, it came in the mail." She's like, "Can I see it?" And so we looked at it. Um, and then I put it back in the envelope, and it's sitting up in the bookshelf, not framed, not behind glass, nothing. 
However, I have a I have a plaque as a um, that I got as a like a, a, a full on behind glass with like the, the bronze couple logos and stuff um, from management that, that I have available because I'm more proud of that. Opens another five percent crit like this one, or we could take this one. I like the idea of opening another five percent crit. Get another university spot. No. Are my Tesla's kicking ass? Yes. You had to take a photo of your diploma and send it back around check the answer. Oh, I had to do that at one stage. We've got an online one. I did have to take it out and scan it. Hey, Pop, how you doing? They were lazy to call the school. Yeah, so... Um, stuff like that actually works as a filtration tool for businesses and jobs as well. Some people are like, oh, I don't want to do that. Well, I guess you really didn't want the job then. Right? So by the business, don't get me wrong, the business is definitely being lazy, but they're using that laziness to their advantage. They're like, oh, we're going to have X amount of people apply for this job and, you know, we need another filtering tool because we don't want to interview them or actually go through all these resumes. The old fashioned, you have yours framed and out for display. I think it comes down to if it's something you're proud of. I put no value in mine. I worked far too hard and put in far too much effort for something that I knew mostly how to do. And at the time, I felt like I was doing it for me, but I kind of, I don't know. I wasn't really doing it for anyone else, but I think I was doing the work more for the, um, the system. And I'm not one of those, oh, I've got a Rage Against the Machine type of people. Um, but it, it was something that I wanted because I didn't have. And after I'd gotten it, uh, and I sort of reflected on what, I, what it cost me uh, in terms of, you know, time away from family because studying and, and putting extra work in and stuff, I kind of felt very negative about it. I'm still glad I did it and I am proud of it, but not to the extent that it was as a, a mature age student going back. I mean, there's something in that. Um, and I think there's, I still think there's value in um, university level education for, for people that are really chasing something. Um, and for kids, like coming out of high school and it gives you more time to find what you want to do in life. Plus, it's necessary. It's, a feel, like, it's the same as, like, at some stage, you know, the high school certificate was the filter for jobs. Like, we've got to have X amount of people that want this job. We need a quick way of filtering so we can get the best of whatever's left. And it was, you know, you need the high school certificate. Now you need a diploma. In some areas, you need an advanced diploma. But in part, you probably do learn something. I think that the hard for me was, like, I was doing computer science. I worked in software, you know, alongside of hospitality my whole life. My father was a computer teacher when computers went into schools, so we had computer in the house. I learned to program uh, at eight. Um, GW Basic. Crits are crits. Frostbolt's 2 is still pretty good as well, though. Hey, Shubinator, how you doing, man? You work in education? It's awesome, dude. We need good educators. Wait, you're a good educator, right?
Severo. No, no, no. That's, that's not what you do, but I guess close enough. Not in the classroom. Workplace education is important as well. I can keep guessing all night, or at least for another hour or so. Are oh, you working at school? Hmm, I'm running out of guesses. Not in the classroom. Counselor? Are you a are you a coach or in the on coaching staff of a, a sports ball team or track? No. Okay. Are you a secretary? Okay. That's administration, though, right? I guess you're not. Uh, I mean, huh? Yeah, it puts it like you still have contact with students, but not. Unless you're in a spot that only deals with um, third parties' interactions with schools. Yeah, that's... So that's administration from what we would say as a business point of view, but it's not administration in terms of, yeah, education systems. weird. English is weird. So yeah, so in education there's administration and then there's administration. Boys, or little, 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 little boy. But yeah, so for me, it was, it, it was more so I wanted to be be able to be available, or technically available to do jobs that I was already doing. It was definitely a checkbox on the resume, which turned out didn't actually make any change to anything. Which I guess is uh, probably a little bit bitter more than anything. <laughs> Severo. Um, crits are crit, right? Crits is crits. They open that one. Makes no sense why I would have picked that one. Oh well. Yeah, you probably did get caught. They just went, ah, oh, I don't want to deal with it. It's Friday. Paperwork. You have no idea how you never got expelled from school because it's literally more hassle to expel you than to um, give you a temporary and then welcome you back. I 
And then also depending where you live, there's potential legal implications that schools fall under if they choose expulsion as a route instead of um, just a suspension. That's, that's a weird one. There's been a... Um, you'd have to go find them, but there's definitely been somewhere there's been cases. I don't know the outcome of the cases, because usually they get... Um, what's the word? Out of court, settled out of court type of situation with um, non-disclosures. Where someone wasn't expelled because school was on a, a funding threshold, and then the person that didn't get expelled did something else to someone else. And that someone else's family goes, oh, why wasn't this person expelled? Because this is not their first offence. And then they find out it's probably a funding threshold and they're like, oh, okay, well, our child interaction with other child because you were holding onto a funding, we're going to take that off you now. under the rug type of deal. So that's a whole other side of the legal issues with it as well. You're hoping something you heard is not going to happen? Well then for your sake, I hope what you heard is not going to happen too. Whether it goes for or against my beliefs or whatever, because I'm not familiar with uh, what it is. Uh, it sucks when you have to be a part of something that you don't want to and it's bad. See, we were talking about this earlier. People are the worst, right? Confirmed people are the worst. Boogie's going to be coming down from here. Ah, uh, from here, probably. Yeah, I wonder why I took this path. That makes zero sense. Probably Chat's fault. might be best not to share anymore on this, just in case. Okay, the Teslas seem to be holding up okay. These ones are destroying shield as they should. Armor's going through and getting destroyed up here. Let's see, armor dude. Um, no one's getting through to the health dude yet. worked with nurses today? It's because you're a nurse. How's Milu? Zap. Zap. 
Zap. Are Teslas as good as they once were? I think so. Yeah, did they know you were working with them? Or were they like, who's that guy standing over there on the wrong side of the, uh, of the sign? I don't know, I thought he was with you. I thought Dr. So-and-so let him in. No, he's just been there. He's looking at us now. Is it that sort of situation? And these dudes are getting destroyed. I wish you could click on units. Come on. Cat found new toy. He's growing incredibly fast. Puppies do that. I'll post some pictures later if you get any good ones. You get some good ones. You post them. You can be free tomorrow for the uh, community day. You can go and play cards. 5% um, crit seems like the bestest. Wow, oh, big boy. Healthy boy. You can take him for walks and give him cuddles. What's my crit at? 76 plus 5 against bleeding units, maybe? I don't know if I took that. Are we 30 out yet? Tea time? I think it's tea time. Oh, it's almost beer o'clock. I think it might be. Well, I'm going to make a cup of tea though, but it's. I'm I think it's going to be beer o'clock later. our slow boy. Is this for achievement or just for fun? Uh, I've already got the achievement. We're, we're doing it because I got mine early and then the Tesla's got nerfed. So we're seeing if same strategy is possible. Well, the thing is you don't know what path you're going to get until you playing. I think I'd also I think I should have gone for haunted houses though because I knew I wasn't investing in um, ballistas and Tesla doesn't have that many cards. So for this run you could haunted house money and play seances. push yourself if you if you do you do we've also got to start um, picking and choosing games from the uh, suggested wheel list to actually put on the wheel yeah so these guys aren't a problem because um, there's the only spawning dudes are the rocketeers and they get killed by this one and then usually their rockets get taken out here 
Um, it's wave 40 is when you start getting like beholders uh, and, and portals. They struggle. You should have seen the uh, frosty run. We redid the frost run. And same thing, we only had ballistas at the at houses. We didn't have this many houses in the frost run. But the map was amazing. Snow everywhere. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Boogie boogie boogie. Same sort of setup you can do with a lot of the towers with positioning where you have one focused on shield, one focused on armor, and one focused on health. And they'll pretty much strip everything away, but you do need to have something in line for uh, spawns. Having a second thing in line for spawns is really good. Mini leakies, did they get into this part of the map? Oh no. Not yet. Oh, did they make it to the third Tesla? Oh no! <laughs> That's ramping up. I've started just putting everything into shield for the universities, and it's just for the last five waves. I think putting some in health isn't terrible um, because of the beholders, but ultimately you just end up doing so much health damage anyway. Fine. Oh, here's Oogie. Is there anything else? There's, he's still got some people left behind him. Let's see how the shield uh, tower goes. Zap. 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 It's chonking away the armor of these idiots as well. Because of the burn. Alright, and Boogie's, um... Yeah. That's the rest of the, uh... That's the last of the wave. They might, one of them, they might actually catch, oh, they won't catch up Doogie. They, they're going to try to catch up Doogie. Mm. All right, here's the armor Tesla. Here's probably the weaker of the Teslas. Armor value at fat level 30 is 1720 versus, or oh, that's 32 at 2400. And that's 30 at 16. Oh, actually, armor's a bit higher there. Probably because of the five armor points. Oh, it stopped being zapped by the armor dude. Oh, no, it hasn't. My bad. A tiny, tiny little range on this one. Oh, mini leakies. Hopefully we got crit does 10% of dot damage. I don't. Did not push into him. Um, 
let's take the electro hemorrhaging. Frostbolt's two here is fine. That might have been one to push into though. Yeah, and all of those trees, I have the first one and then the top one, like the 5% bleed crit. I can't remember what the burn one is because I probably want to get rid of that one. And then creeping cough. Okay, we're, we're stripping all the shields. So that's nice. Ah, uh, burn is slower cooker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just... That feels just like an extra bleed option, like a one of these, right? And since I don't take the other ones, that's why I probably shouldn't even have kill it with fire. I don't know. I think it depends on the run and if you think you're gonna be pushing up the lanes or not. And these ballistas aren't playing any dots, just slow. The little combination of they made it to level 14 and they have these sort of numbers with the universities. They're doing good enough just to. Seven. A couple more. So I think on 38 I could push one out. Maybe that one. Oh, that's why. That's probably why I pushed that one out. But I don't think it's correct anyway, just to give it one lane of separation. I should have waited. I'm not worried. I've been fighting the second remix boss in Rogue Legacy. It is freaking tough. Like ridiculous tough. It's gonna feel good though. Maybe. First one was cool, the eyeball was cool fight. Apparently the um for the the fifth boss, Johans, the remix boss is called Brohans and there's two of them. <laughs> it's like <laughs> It's funny and all, but I want to fight two of those guys. Oh, come on, Frostbolts. Stop. Let him through so he can just get destroyed by a zap. Zap. Fast forward. Uh, oh, there's the slow cooker. Take extra armor damage first. Let's... Oh, let's just fire up the wave. 
and then we'll do this while we wait. Oh, there's, those dudes still have armor. They take two zaps. Interesting, one of them's regening. I'm not armor shield. There's a dude coming out of here because he only hit sort of this corner of it. <laughs> I might actually get a sleep today. That could be nice. It's like, where's your shield? Zap. And they just get like max poison. Like it's almost full poison straight away. Very close to full. I think it is a full poison hit. Look at this little guy. Yeah, I think that's a full poison hit. One shot. Not taking his, uh, his shield in one shot, but he's getting full slow. Full slow, sorry. Come on, little dude. You can do it. Cut his head off. And blister operators wanted to go home. <laughs> like, come on, man. Five crit is five crit. There you go. Fifty crit we're at. He's closing now. We wait 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Oh man, I wanted to push that one out one more. All right, well.
Crab balls are making it to the ballistas. Alright, Salty. Thanks for dropping by, man. Try not to be too much stranger. Good luck with everything. Get through your studies. Pet the dogs for me. In the cardle. Hey, Hugo. How you doing, man? Is still a list. Are Tesla still busted? Definitively, yes. Send report to devs. Ballistas are still. Uh, sorry, Teslas are still busted. Please nerf more. Man, so much. I wonder if we could go for, for Jack Ballistas. Instead of ramping one at each junction, just try to even them out. And that's a portal. We get to fifty. A 75 shield multiplier. Kill stealing ballistas. I suppose as is tradition, I should have ballistas on these tower spots. That's an oversight. I'll, I'll fix that in a second. As soon as we get this guy to 50. There we go. Yeah, I should have had that done already. As is tradition. I haven't got any bad tower spots, so at least it won't be terrible, I guess. I'm not paying to level those ones, though. They can level themselves. Half of the um, the eyes that came out. He's even at fifty times seventy seven. 
doesn't strip your shield off. Oh, there's no more of them. It's the big dudes. Need like 2k. In a, in a triple defense, having them as jacks. Radar on triple defense. That's a thing. I mean, you get good coverage. You get a couple radars around the tower at home. You probably don't have to worry about flying dots for the targets because the radars, like, they're going to destroy whatever you focus them on with the new change. Monster studies. To shield. Let's grab a Tesla there. This one goes there. This one goes there. that we're not leaking. We still should set them to shield at this stage of the game. I mean, chances are they're going to target a shield unit anyway, but I guarantee we get that shield experience. This one's just ripping everything open. The big boy. Save some money in case we want to get another one. See what happens to the portal. Right, we go. Zap loses shield. Loses the shield. Yeah, doesn't quite lose the armor. Three hit for the armor. That's pretty good. Because then we even hit the beholder for a ton. Kind of gross that our um. Our armor focus Tesla is one shotting eyes, which have no armor, they're just shield and health. I'm fine with that. Hmm. 
<laughs> yep. Good, good. Longbow could be good. Oh, monster damage. Why not? Hold is getting through. And some of these towers are already look at they're already killing um portals. That's just nuts. 600 damage. Because the dots are stopping regen as well. This is... It's actually sped up the way. Ticking down. Bleed more and. <laughs> That's really satisfying. Also, not having them sort of wander around forever. Oh, he's out of bleed. He's, he he's healing. Look at that heal. That's chunky. Get him. Get this guy. Yeah, that's the one. But that's got to be the worst. I think it's hitting something. But it's, yeah. Hmm. It's on the tower because it's the rule. I don't think anything's making it past the first three Teslas yet. For many, many ways. Crit are they up to? Or on a hundred crit. Model where if you do enough damage to the airship, 
you kill the spawns inside it as well. I think that could do okay here. Maybe then particle cannon would no it wouldn't. That's Bodin's MVP. Yeah. We somehow have 14 health. The universities are all 6, 6, 16. And we're at 14, 8, 20. Low sample size as always, but still. Longbow 2. I'm going to level 1 just to speed things up a bit. Level 20 is just so cheap now, I guess. out even though it's pretty much left out. Some triple with radar, with radar just for fun. I want to see what happens. Oh, you get annihilated. That's all right. Oh, one more, three, one more. Well, this one and then one more. We get fifty on here yet? have numbers of kills on the towers. Um, I, I mean, it wouldn't hurt. I, you're going to get a point where someone's got the most because they're the one out front that you've bumped up. I guess sometimes up here, but I think it wouldn't hurt. Definitely wouldn't hurt. 
mana spiky. I think that's the other thing too, like we're doing this on 5 mana banks and some mana siphons. 62 mana a second, 5 mana banks, like it's just an obscene amount of damage to it. And I knew when people said, oh this is what they've done to Teslas, my instant reaction was, won't matter. They're still ridiculous. And they still are. All the towers are. You just focus on one if you, especially if you have a map like that. That's not super long. It's like 12 tiles, I think, before we got a split. Lucky last dude. Oh. I mean, everyone loves the heavy shaft. Was twelve. Yeah. Right, Sebra. Where's Oogie? And there he is, look. Oh, he's even um, getting some... Uh, he would be getting regen, except he's got 50k. <laughs> Poison on him. I think I'm going to get waved off. He might not be able to radar run. I really want to click this tower to see the radius, but I don't want to see that. Yeah, the 21, 13, 28 helps just a little bit, just a little bit. You know, you've got to get yourself there, you've got to go for it. Oh, 
Well, he's had his, arm, his, his shield popped. He's burning away his armor now. Mm, those really aren't armor Teslas. They're gonna get these, um, strip those portals though. That's nice. This one's going to pop. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of those are all niceties that I can definitely agree with, but probably not going to happen. They're things when we make our famous game, we'll make sure we put in it. Yeah. This is where maybe having um, jack-of-all-trade Teslas might be better, because... Obviously, Oogie spawns enemies, and so if you only had three, like in a triple defense line, you might only be able to afford to have three in each lane. Um, might not have the money to... I mean, these ones went to 60, so you could possibly... And these ones only went to 30, so you could possibly have more go to... Oh, I built a bunch that went to 20, so maybe if you only built... You'd have to build more 20s. But if you can only get six then, you know, this is... That would be a bit dangerous. I'd be a bit worried. Come on, get in range. Back up to 60. It didn't quite get to 60. Oops. Needs a radar. Yeah. But we're doing Teslas only. Just to see. Because I, I did the Tesla only achievement um, before they made the change. It didn't get slow enough. The radi radius on that one was really little as well. No, 60's not the cap, but I was just sort of evenly spending money on these three. I don't think he has more spawns now. These ones are all 30. The shield. The shield one's not going to do as much damage. But he's going to be really slow while he's near the health one. And the health one's got the best position. Man, that frost keep run was great. I'm glad we redid the frost keep run. Snow everywhere. Bye, Oogie. We did it, chat. What about particle cannon again? No. I'm going to just concede that there is no way I have enough brain power to have a, a particle cannon win where you only have ballistas on houses. I don't think it's possible. I, I want to try radar with ballistas only on houses now that radar's changed, but I don't know, man. <laughs> 